Uh, I mean, it's still early doors because you still have a return leg, but it, uh, it showed up today, uh, not only by passing the ball. And I don't think he had a great game, but he had an important goal. This is why I mentioned about most valuable and most important player. And I think he's still the most important player in this team. But I have to say, I came across a lot of players, played with a lot of players. So a lot of players play, play against some of the greatest. I think Kevin is, is the, the, his brain is, I think is the best that I've seen. Brain, huh? and we're not talking about the way he sees the game. And this is why we were talking about it a bit before. Because his brain is, is, is in some places, I don't know how, what he thinks about sometimes, in all fairness. You look at him and it's almost like he's not with us, if you know what I mean, because he's that, he's that good and sometimes it can be a problem because you're not on his level. But I think he's the most clever player I've seen in my life. We're talking about the brain, huh? Eh? Mm -hmm. it's, it's just second to none, the way he thinks. And you know why also? Because I, I saw him for, for six years on and off with Belgium. He also a bit more kind of, you, you love the man a bit more, if, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean, because I saw stuff that he did in training and in games. And yes, at times it was driving him crazy because he's a perfectionist and perfectionists don't like if you see the pen is here, you, you, you move it, he, he, he's not well. Like he would look at the one, don't touch my pen. You know, <laughs> you put it back, so don't touch my pen again. You know, you know what I mean? Those guys are not, right, but he's, he's unbelievable. You played with two of the best midfield players I think, in the history of the game, in terms of Xavi and Iniesta. Now they won World Cup, yeah. Euros, Champions yeah. League. Now, do you think the greatest players, as I just said, have to win that? Or it can just be you judging players on their ability and what they do season after season? Or do you no. think the real greats have to be defined by a tournament in terms of a Euros or a World Cup and the Champions League? It helps, Jimmy. And usually those players win that. You know, it, it, it rarely happens that those players don't win that, apart if they're not playing maybe in a national team where they can, and you can understand why, OK? But you mentioned two players there. Again, I go back to the same thing. Lionel Messi was getting the, the, the accolades, and rightly so. Samuel Leto was outstanding. Ronaldinho, I played in that team. Some of the players, but the most important players were Xavi and Iniesta. They were making a stick. We, not, we have to go, we have to stop. Now we go, now we are them. And what were, what were the stats? You can also bring stats. What were the stats of Andres Iniesta at the end of the season? Four goals, five assists. But man, we needed him. Xavi, also, not a lot. But when they were not there, we were not the same teams. And trust me, with quality, with pace, with power, we had maybe better player, more valuable player, guys with assists and goals at will. But those guys were the most important players. But to go back to, to what you were saying, Yes, it helps. Yes, it solidifies your, your legacy. But I do think also legacy is about what you transmit and how you transcend people. And Kevin De Bruyne is one of those players. We talked about Thomas Miller the other day. You can, do, you can be De Bruyne. It's difficult to be Messi. It's difficult to be Zidane. It's difficult to be Ronaldinho. You need some type of skills that those guys, like, they, they, they had a conversation with God. It's, <laughs> you know, but it's what true. What did you say to me and you, God? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. But but you can you can you can be Kevin and Kevin, his brain. You know I, I'm still thinking about some stuff that I've seen and and it, it is just on a different planet. And it wasn't his best game tonight. But he delivered. You still have a game at the ATI though.